Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie episode number 6 reaction. Alright, the previous episode, um, Shikimori, uh, you and all their friends went to the river. And uh, it was like, you know, the whole episode was based on that. And there was quite a few sections where first of all, they, uh, you know, like kind of get prepared for barbecue and we kind of get to see that Shikimori can't cook. <laughs> this is the only thing that she cannot properly do and sh but she she is like you know she is determined enough to actually improve and uh, you know learn and by the end of it she said like oh i'm going to let you say that my food is delicious <laughs> so that was like you know that was a, a little revelation we got and uh, then there was that whole thing with shikamori kind of uh, thinking about when to show her swimsuit she was feeling embarrassed and uh you tries to save a little girl who was almost drowning and was going to go like not drowning but going to get swept away by the uh current and she, he himself gets his leg gets cramped and uh, gets in a bad situation but shikimori is able to find him quickly and save him and that's like you know uh, where we get to like you know like where you gets to see her swimsuit and from there onwards like you know they kind of play in the water all that and it was it was a good time and in the end they kind of like you know kind of wander around like have ice cream <laughs> there was that whole situation where uh, Inu, Inuzuka kind of eats <laughs> eats a uh, use ice cream which uh, Shikimori gets extremely mad of and uh, all that stuff you know and then they go back to their like you know go back to their house uh, by like you know boarding a train and over there like you know, everyone kind of falls asleep uh, you fall asleep on Inuyama but, sorry Inuzaki uh, yeah Inuzaki I, I always mix their name up Inu and Neko both of their names um, and um, Shikimori like you know kind of puts his head on his on her shoulder and kind of pats him <laughs> that was cute so yeah let's see what this episode brings this is episode number six of Shikimori is not just a cutie so yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference, and let's get started. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Wait, is he? Oh, okay. Sunburn. Hmm. <laughs> True. Oh my god, what is happening? Something happened? Oh, festive uh fireworks festival? This is This is that episode, okay. He wants to go, but okay, it's it's in the night. It's gonna happen. <laughs> no, it's in the night, so no problem. And that as well. Yep. Hmm. All right. Okay, so the fireworks festival episode. This is going to be. Um, there are a few other, like you know, what do you call them? Um, episodes, uh, tropes. Yeah, there are a few other tropes that are supposed to probably happen, and it is going to probably happen somewhere down the line since it's a slice of life. Another one is probably like Christmas, New Year. Uh, we already went to the. I was going to say the beach episode, but that was technically not the beach episode, but the river episode. <laughs> the river episode so all right fireworks festival christmas and uh, probably new year's i'm sure we'll get them one by one
All right. Summer is about to end. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yep. Oh. True. Oh, really? Hmm. What's happening? Wait. <laughs> what? What's with the face? Yeah, let's... Okay, they... Alright. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yep. <laughs> you open her face. <laughs> okay, this seems pretty nice. Oh, I thought they're going going to meet at night. Okay, but what? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty crowded. Well, obviously. Up oh, there you go. She found him. Oh wow, she also did her hair. That's nice. <laughs> Retro, okay. Oh, okay. All right, that's nice. So I I never saw an anime where they have been like you know they went to the fireworks festival from the daytime like this, I think this is the, like usually in animes we see them going towards at the night but I'm guessing they're going to yeah just go around the different attractions and spend their time up until the night comes. <laughs> oh. Nah, I, she's happy with being with him. <sighs> oh, wait. Oh. Oh, is no. Oh. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, it's kind of getting a darker. Yep. All right. Um he, he okay, let's see if his luck I don't think that's a dog. Yeah, that's a werewolf. <laughs> Not a werewolf, sorry, a werewolf. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy, his luck is going to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is like, oh my god, I just said that. <laughs> He's like feeling bad. Yeah, okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure he can. Um, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> well, about that. He's like, oh, oh, I, that aura. Oh, wait, what the? How many bullets? Is... <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> wait, she won a lot. More than that. <laughs> oh my god. All right, they're, they're here. All right. Okay, so they came in the night. During the night, so... Wow, they have been, <laughs> they're here from the morning and wow, they have energy, I have to say. <laughs> okay. Wait, is that food in her hand? What the hell? She has so many. F she loves eating. I, I saw uh, Hachimatsu. Oh, yeah, that's one thing we didn't do. Oh boy. Hmm. You're still eating. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, it's Shikimori's turn now. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay, she's struggling. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. All right, I feel like if, whoa. <laughs> true. <laughs> Call her Inu. Him. What? The? All right, I feel like there's still time left, but uh, it's fully. Oh, they need to walk. Okay, that'll take time. Huh. What? The? Oh, it broke. Mm, the cliche, you know, the cliche. This is another one of those cliches that always happen. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, this is the first time I guess she was wearing this. Oh.
It's probably going to go to like a place where it's. <laughs> a place with a better view, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's what he told him. Okay. <laughs> the dad is like, oh, this is a top secret that has been only passed down in our generation from son, uh, from father to child. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Up here we come, here we go, the trope. Oh no, it's not. Okay. All right, okay. Okay, there you go. I was like, where, when is it going to come? The, the whole trope of the, like, <laughs> him carrying her? <laughs> Collapse on the ground. Yeah, I've, I've been doing some push-ups. So, I'm stronger now. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's already started. Well, it's pretty nice, uh, like, nice and visible here, nicely. So, uh, she probably wanted to go to the secret spot. Oh no, she, he's lost. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he is because he deals with so many misfortune that he's probably a lot stronger. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay, this is crazy. I don't think it's Daiyobu. How the. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, uh, don't. Yeah, as, as he said, you know, like. Wow, he actually did it. Okay. The, is, is the firework still ongoing? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Wait. He needs to carry her back down. That'll be even crazier. Okay, this is nice. <laughs> She's still eating.
That's okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> 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 well, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh. Oh wait. Okay. So the previous day they were still friends. Oh, okay. Okay. Makes sense. I wonder how we started going out with each other. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of more. Yeah, and in the future as well, you know? Upcoming years. <laughs> hmm. All right. Okay, I'm just. I was just saying this. How can he Yo, he'll fall. He'll fall. Uh, yeah, it's it's really difficult to. Wait, <laughs> where did he come from? Wait, was he here from the beginning? <laughs> Were they here from the beginning? Oh my god! Wait. <laughs> Yo, this... Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm pretty sure they did. Oh. Wait! <laughs> Damn, his dad is strong. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's carrying two people, two grown people, down the stairs. Yeah, what? What? Okay. Four? <laughs> what? I okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> Uh, that was surprising.
Okay. Is there something that... Okay, no, that's the end. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was an interesting episode. <laughs> All right, so we begin with uh, Izumi being sunburned. That's why he, he he's really, like, you know, having a bad time. But then, like, you know, the fireworks festival is supposed to be happening. So, yeah, he wants to go there with uh, Shikimori. So he's like, let's go. And uh, I thought, like, he was going to, like, you know, obviously he did get a, enough time one more day. So the sunburn would, was probably a little lesser. But uh, I thought they were going to go at night. You know, usually in most of the animals where we get a fireworks festi uh, festival episode, they usually go at night, you know. They, these two <laughs> actually went there from the morning. And I'm like, all right, that's, that's kind of insane. I've never seen an anime do anything like that where the characters go to the fireworks festival from the morning and stay till the night and then watch the fireworks and then come back. Like, that's insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> truly, this is the first time I've seen an anime do this, something like this. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, Izumi was, you know, kind of wearing uh, the dress. And uh, here, <clears throat> his dad was like, all right, Izumi, I have something to tell you. <laughs> the way he made his face was kind of funny. <laughs> but on the other side, Shikimori was trying a, yuka uh, a kimono, I think. Yeah. No, sorry. Was it yukata? Was it a kimono or a yukata? Okay, anyways. Um, so, yeah, she was trying to wear that. And uh, obviously watching, like, you know, YouTube videos <laughs> to see how to tie the knot um unfortunately it is probably quite difficult not probably it's definitely quite difficult because yeah it, like you know like wearing a kimono seems like a pretty difficult job at least for people who don't know uh so and since chikumu here was all alone she couldn't do it properly <laughs> her brother came and just helped her out <laughs> and he was like ah oh, you're so clumsy just goes away and yeah all right, so Izumi, oh my god, Izumi brought <laughs> three wallets, money split among it, and like a few other things. Uh, if I lose two of them, I'll get another one. I'll have another one. Like that was his, like, you know, main, like, you know, goal. And um, he's like, yeah, nothing can stop me today. I'm ready. You know, I'm definitely enjoying the festival today. So... He was like, oh, maybe, will I be able to find her? But Shikimori comes in and finds him instead. And we kind of compliment each other. And okay, you know what? What is that? Is that a kimono or a... Yukata, there you go, Yukata. Um, he was like, oh, your Yukata is quite nice. It looks a little bit retro. And he, she talks about how this was her, her grandma's. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so they start uh, walking around the festival like buying stuff, eating stuff, uh, going towards the different attractions. You know, like, uh, you was very happy with the cotton candy. <laughs> and uh, he's like, well, you won't eat it. And she was like, no, like, you know, like, it's, it's fine. And you was like, oh, I was thinking I was going to, you know, kind of pay you back for that day. I, I caused you a lot of trouble. And, uh, okay, so here a thing comes up. Well, Shikimori says that, wait a minute, I don't like sweet food. But then you is like, wait a minute, but we saw before, like the whole pancake episode. And, uh, you know, like uh, the, the, the episode where she ate the desert that she, uh, you made. And she said something like, oh, I want to eat this every day. So he's like, yeah, like you did that before. So what about then? Where you, uh, Shikimori says, like, nowadays it's okay because I guess, like, you know, seeing you so excited about watching me eat, like, you know, like sweet stuff is it, it actually made me change my taste as well. Now, I here's the thing I don't want to go too deep into this, but I don't know, it's just like some kind of uh, like. 
Like, we still don't know where her parents are. Like, I feel like there's some kind of a deal with, like, something's going on. I might, like, as I said, I might be completely going into, like, maybe some kind of conspiracy mode or something. But, I don't know, I feel like there is some kind of a deal with her and her parents. So, yeah, like, yeah, I remember, like, in one of the previous episodes, she talks about how... Yeah, she talks about something i remember that i i felt like her, her and her parents like, you know situation is not so good and seeing how she and her brother lives here and we've never seen her parents before i do think there is probably some kind of a oh yeah i remember uh the day when um he goes uh, she goes to uh, use house you know i remember her saying something like oh like this is the first time i've actually eaten like homemade food or something like that she says where I kind of said, I remember in that episode that maybe there's some kind of a deal between her and her parents. So, I, I don't know, like maybe, maybe this whole thing of like, you know, cannot eat sweet food, maybe that also stems from something because of something like that, because of her situation or I don't know, or maybe I'm looking too much into it. I'm sure we'll get to know uh, as the episodes, you know, like go on, but this is my guess and i feel like it might be on point um but yeah anyways but she like you know her she said that yeah nowadays i'm okay because i do like it because you you seems <laughs> you know like looking at you your face when you are watching me eat i i feel like yeah i can i can deal with this i like sweet stuff now <clears throat> all right so then we go to the um, shooting attraction where there's a lot of little toys and uh, she, uh, you is like, all right, let me get the, um, the, the little wolf for you. He tries, fails. <laughs> and, and, and the shopkeeper was, and you know, like at the beginning he was like, oh, like good luck, you know, like he like, you know, definitely like, you know, win something for your girlfriend. And after seeing how he failed, the shopkeeper probably felt a lot of, like, you know, kind of bad. He was like, oh my god, like, I'm, like, you know, like, you can take this, you can take this consolation prize. <laughs> he was feeling pretty bad. But then Shikimo is like, ah, no problem. Gets the gun. <laughs> the shopkeeper was like, oh, should I give you some extra? Will you be able to do it? But here we go, Shikimo, you know, consecutively <laughs> shoots two times, which makes the the little doll fall the wolf doll fall and she, she also kind of drops a few other targets as well and the shopkeeper is like ah i can see it in her those eyes those are the are hunter's eyes this 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 lady is not an ordinary lady you know like overflowing her overflowing aura is saying like she is like a veteran <laughs> <laughs> She gives it the, the, the doll to them and Shikimori gives it to you. Um that was that and then um we get to see Inuzuka, Nekoyama, Hachimitsu, they are also here. And here you go, it was almost at the like you know like you know it was uh I think the evening when they came, like almost towards the night. So that is when they came and I, I was expecting Shikimori and you to also come during that time. They have come here from the morning. They're, they're continuously just moving around from one place to another, eating stuff and all that. And damn, they have energy. Like, you know, like, like, okay. <laughs> but I guess it, it, it's kind of like, you know, like, as they say, like, when you're in an excitement, you know, like, when you're having a good time, you know, energy doesn't factor at all. It, it with just with that learning you you're able to do a lot of other things and uh, it's probably something like that yeah because you know like when we're having fun these things doesn't matter so you know all the friends are here and as always Hachimitsu has a lot of food <laughs> let's snap pictures and Inusuka is like all right let's do the uh, goldfish scooping contest and uh, yeah, you know, gold scoop, uh, fish scooping is another one of those tropes in uh, festival episodes, you know, in fiber festival episodes or maybe summer festival, winter festival. This is another one of those tropes where 
usually like you know like the characters play like you know this and there's a few others i remember as well like there's that one uh game where you kind of uh kind of like an outline given in, in the candy and you have to kind of carve it or something you know like properly do it that thing i remember, i forgot like with a little needle you do um and a few other as well games and we saw the shooting ones and uh, yeah so <clears throat> inuzuka and you try to do it unfortunately the thing falls from you's hand and then uh, shikimori also like you know is like all right i'm going to avenge you tries to catch the fishes but unfortunately she is also having a tough time with this and mostly because of her aura you know she and as hachimutsu says like uh she is usually bad at these type of situations which take concentration and <laughs> her competitive nature is making her more anxious and uh, you know like her the way she was looking at the fishers the fishers were all running away so yeah <laughs> all these kind of you know like just mixed together she was failing very badly and Inzuka was continuously getting and and she's and since she's so competitive especially whenever something <laughs> re related to you pops up you know like she definitely was not going to give up the game and the fireworks festival was going to start so um nekoyama and uh, hachimi so both of them are like all right we'll deal with this and uh, they kind of tell chicken to go and like you know watch the fireworks because it's almost time and yeah they go out of that like you know kind of move out from there and uh, they are like all right let's go watch the fireworks here you brings up that oh like and i know a place where my dad told me and uh, it's it's a good place uh, where we can see the fireworks very clearly and i feel like this is another one of those tropes and like in, in most like you know animes uh, which has like a firework festival episode this usually happens like you know somehow the main characters know a secret place where there's no one no one knows about that place but the main character knows about it and that's where they usually go all the animes all the sites of the life animes i've seen which has like a festival episode this is one of them <laughs> this is one of those tropes but this time it was not you but you's dad knew about it so this is a lot more convincing i guess <laughs> so yeah anyways um at first they were like all right let's go but then shikimori's um i think what, those slippers what do, i think you call them geta don't you i think so um they kind of snap and uh okay this is another another trope you know always this always happens and the girl <laughs> the girl their their slippers always get stored and there's like blisters and everything so <laughs> there you go <laughs> and as i was saying you know at that moment like i was waiting for the other trope to come up which was the boy would actually offer to piggyback the girl which is another trope so i was waiting for that and that did happen you know i was a little bit concerned here however because uh you know sh you is usually unlucky so i was thinking like like you know i, I really hope he doesn't fall while trying to piggyback her but nothing of that sort happened <laughs> um anyways um you know kind of Sh shikimori and you talk about it and uh, at first <clears throat> shikimori is like it's fine you know like uh like i may I will, we'll go there next uh year no need to just like you know hurry and uh kind of try to go there uh you know I'm, I'm sure we'll have a great time even if we don't go there this year we'll go there next year let's go to the normal place where we usually watch the fireworks and uh, at first you was like no but then he was like all right fine and uh, you like all right get behind my back and there you go the piggyback trope comes up <laughs> and uh, shikimori is like oh my god no i'm going to fall like no, I'm, I'm heavy but you is like not to worry i'm stronger than i look and i don't doubt that because you know what why because he is so unfortunate i'm pretty sure he's pretty strong you know like because most of these situations that happen to him probably needs a lot of strength to counteract that so yeah he is strong and i don't doubt about it <clears throat> all right uh, the fireworks start and uh, he's carrying her and 
then he tries to go like in a different direction shikun's like wait are you lost or something but he's like no like you know i decided let's go there this today only and shikun was like oh my god that's a long way so you know like I i'll walk but he's like it's fine i'm stronger than i look and then he comes in front of a set of stairs and i'm like what how how strong are you but he does do it by the end of it and i'm like all right good job i guess like I, that's kind of impossible you know like i don't even know how old he is but carrying like you know a, a human being up the stairs like that oh my god i i doubt a lot of people are will be able to do that and it's not a few steps it's like so many steps like hundreds of steps and okay that seems impossible like walking a hundred steps in itself is extremely tiring and he's going to carry a human being on his shoulder not shoulders but on her on his back wow so yeah and obviously shikamu is like what the hell like obviously it's impossible like you know, how can you do that but he's like nah i'm fine you know it's okay he was struggling quite a lot while walking up but you know he's like it's okay and here shikamu is like why are you doing this and he's like i want to see you know a smile from your you know like from your heart and uh, which shows how he said before you know like all the time it's you who's helping me out so i also want to give that back and it's not necessarily i doubt like you know shikimori or anyone in this case you know would like you know what can i say like you know they would always say that it's, it's not the fact that i am giving or you're giving me something is the fact that we're doing something together that's the main thing here that matters i'm pretty sure shikimori is of the same like you know uh what do you call it of the same um like would say the same thing to him as well but the thing here is that even though even though i'm pretty sure you knows about it that yeah that the thing that matters here is spending time together it's not that who is giving whom you know what that's not the point here the point here is spending time together i'm pretty sure you knows that as well still you know still like, you know i'm sure you even though he knows that he he probably wants to do something for shikimori because who wouldn't want to you know like for your loved ones who wouldn't want to do something like, you know, if it's always like in one direction the person who's getting everything is obviously going to get a little bit you know like uncomfortable and he, he or she would be like oh it's always me that's getting everything in this relationship relationship is supposed to be two way so i'm always getting everything and i'm not able to do anything for the other person which is definitely going to make that person sad and uh, yeah that was the thing and i feel like here piggybacking shikimori and climbing up the stairs probably was something that you really wanted to do and this was like a way he was able to give something to shikimori and you know kind of repay all the time that she has helped him out and there you go it's it's nice to see that and they go up and there's like a like a bench there and there's this sitting down watching the fireworks while on the other side neko uh, nekoyama and uh, inuzaki and uh, hachimitsu they're also watching hachimitsu and inu <laughs> zuka is just eating and nekoyama gets mad <laughs> and uh, here uh, the kind of talk where shikimori is like oh i don't want to show you my like you know uncool side i always want to be cute <laughs> and he was like oh that's what makes you <laughs> like, you know it makes you cute and uh, he also talks about how um yeah he also talks about how he was also hesitating and everything and he talks about the previous year where they were i think they were they were still friends and he himself says that they were still friends so that year she he probably wanted to invite her but as he as he thought that yeah we are still friends like kind of looks a little weird so he wasn't able to invite her so i'm guessing after that they started in a relationship so yeah and she Shikimori is also like, yeah, I, I also thought, I also was waiting for you to call me. <laughs> but then they're like, all right, like, you know, from here onwards, you know, like, it, it's fine. You know, like, we, we weren't able to do it last year, but this year we are here. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be 
be here the next year as well so I watch the fireworks everything is nice you know and uh, it's like thank you for taking me here that's it and uh, yeah they need to go down and i was thinking how the hell is he going to do that you know it's one thing to walk up with someone in your back it's completely different to walk down you need balance and proper coordination oh my god he was going to fall and i'm you know what I, i'm pretty sure his parents came here because they anticipated something like this is going to happen <laughs> that's probably why they were here and <laughs> the dad just jumps out <laughs> catches them oh no Oh my god that was funny i i was not expecting her this dad to come up <laughs> and just catch catch them like that and then they talk about how they were <laughs> they were there from the beginning just behind them <laughs> and i'm pretty sure they heard everything that's embarrassing <laughs> but yeah thank god they were there and the dad uh, you know kind of carries them down and i was like what the hell how can he carry two people and then and the mom is like oh it's fine you know like he he did like you know he carried four people down when he was younger and i'm like wow that's okay that was i was not expecting that but <laughs> yeah <laughs> i guess uh, you know like uh, shikimo uh, not shikimo sorry you can take one person up so you know like i i'm not surprised his dad in his younger days was able to take four persons <laughs> so yeah anyways um that's it thanks for watching guys this is my reaction to uh, shikimo is not just a cutie episode number 6 this was a good episode and uh, we got the fireworks festival episode and i'm sure we're going to get a few more episodes like this in the future as well and look i'm waiting for this christmas episode which i'm sure was going to come in the future and maybe like a new year's episode as well Yeah anyways that's it thanks for watching guys this is my reaction to episode 6 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out so yeah that is it thanks for watching guys i will see you guys next week with another episode of shikimori's not just a cutie until then goodbye and have a nice day